The shadow of the Erd Tree has taken the fantastic array of talismans from the original game and amplified it, bringing in exciting new options for players to explore in combat. Armed with these useful and powerful talismans, you'll be well prepared to tackle the challenging new bosses that await you in the expansion. To make your search easier, I've compiled a guide to help you track down the 20 top talismans in Shadow of the Erd Tree. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or a newcomer to Elden Ring, this guide will help you to find the best new talismans for your character and playstyle. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips and Elden Ring guides. To get the Crimson Amber Medallion plus three in Shadow of the Erd Tree, you must defeat the Death Knight at the end of Fog Rift Catacombs. The Cerulean Amber Medallion plus three is found by defeating the Death Knight boss at the end of the Scorpion River Catacombs. The Viridian Amber Medallion plus three can be found in Darklight Catacombs, right after the first cannon imp jump over on the ledge to the right and then drop down to that small archway under it. The two-headed turtle talisman can be found in a small cave hidden beneath a waterfall just east of Rivermouth Cave.
The stalwart horn charm plus two talisman can be found at Bonnie Jail. After you jump down the hole, head east past the rats and climb up the ladder. The immunizing horn charm, plus two talisman, is dropped by the lesser ulcerated tree spirit in the sewers section of Belura Tower Settlement. The clarifying horn charm plus two talisman can be found in Lamenta's jail. After dropping down the small cave infested with rats, continue following the path and go straight. You'll find this talisman on a corpse on the right side once you enter the area. The mottled necklace plus two can be found in ancient ruins of Rao. First you need to reach the lake, then you need to head north to unblock a spirit spring that allows you to jump back up to the opposite side. I'll show you the full path starting from the lake.
The Spelldrake Talisman Plus 3 can be looted off a corpse located inside a storeroom underneath the castle front bridge of Castle Ensis. The plus three variation of the Flame Drake Talisman can be found at the Fort of Reprimand inside a chest. From the Fort of Reprimand side of Grace, you need to follow the stairs down into the hallway filled with cages. Then you need to jump over the cages on the left side. The Aged One's Exaltation Talisman can be obtained in Abyssal Woods. It is dropped by the Aging Untouchable found nearest to the abandoned church. The Bolt Drake Talisman Plus 3 can be found at Shadow Keep. From the storehouse first floor side of Grace, take the small stairs up and turn right while on the wooden platform, then jump down on the left side. The Pearl Drake Talisman Plus 3 can be found at Shadow Keep. You must progress until the seventh floor to pull the lever that moves the statues. Once you do this, return to the third floor and find the head of the statue to pull this item from its beard.
The Crimson Seed Talisman plus one can be obtained in the center of the Finger Ruins of Rhea. The trick is that first you need to get the Ruins Map and the Whole Laden Necklace from Count Emir at Cathedral of Manus Matir. Once you have them, you can sound the hanging bell from one of the fingers that's pointing down. Well, we don't often receive visitors. I am Emir. Welcome to Manus Meta. It is a pleasure to have you. In lands so forsaken as these, Chance encounters are precious indeed. Seeing that we have convened here on this day, allow me to mark the occasion with a modest offering. The map I gave you charts the site of a hallowed ruin. It is said that after sounding the hanging bell there, One's fate will be guided by the stars. I only wish to be of service, to help those who fight for their purpose. I'm not mistaken, am I? I can see it in your eyes. You are a fighter, are you not? Is something the matter? I've given you a map to the hallowed ruin. Oh, I suppose you expect a lesson of me, do you? I know the feeling. Those with purpose are nothing if not ravenous. For power. For truth. I am a glintstone sorcerer. We study the stars and examine the life therein. Are you familiar with our findings? Long ago, we began as stardust. Born of a great rupture far across the skies. We too are children of the greater will. Is that not divine? Is that not sublime? And yet, none can fathom its implications. Its utter brilliance. Oh yes, do mind your feet around the church. You wouldn't want to hurt the little boy. In order to obtain the Cerulean Seed Talisman plus one, you'll have to sound the hanging bell in Finger Ruins of Dio.
The shattered stone talisman can be found at Morth Ruins. You'll have to jump on the first rooftop visible from the gap on the ground. Then turn left and walk on the ledge to find it. The two-handed sword talisman can be found at Temple Town ruins inside the highest structure. After the fight with the horned warrior, just continue up the stairs into the next room to find the chest. The arrow's Soaring Sting Talisman can be found on top of a tower at Fog Rift Fort. From within the door of the tower where Black Knight Garry was, you need to go through a gap between the tower and the rock wall, and take the stairs going up around the cliff to reach the ladder going up to the upper level of the tower. The Pearl Shield Talisman can be found inside a chest in a small camp of Mesmer soldiers, southwest from the Talu's ruined forge.
The Verdigris Discus Talisman can be found at ancient ruins of Rao, in a small hidden area that is only accessible through a waygate located west from the High Road Cross site of Grace. The waygate can be activated with an imbued sword key. I'll show you the full path starting from the Grace.